Welcome back to Financial Futures. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and join our growing community, where we discuss financial trends, updates, and strategies to navigate these uncertain times. In our previous episodes, we discussed the great melt-up a term we've coined to describe the current economic phase that began on September 18, 2024, when the Federal Reserve pivoted to an easier monetary policy. Today, we're diving deeper into this phenomenon, explaining what it means for you, and more importantly, how you can protect your financial future. The great melt-up stems from the Federal Reserve's need to manage the government's unsustainable debt levels. This policy shift won't solve the underlying issues but temporarily makes them more manageable. Since the pandemic, we've been living in an everything bubble from stocks and real estate to commodities. Even with high interest rates and quantitative tightening, inflation persisted. Now, as rate cuts and quantitative easing take hold, we're shifting from the everything bubble to the everything bubble on steroids. This phase will unfold in two key eras. Number 1. Pre-crisis melt-up, where we are now, with inflation re-accelerating. Number 2. Post-crisis melt-up, a phase marked by explosive inflation after a government-manufactured crisis. During the pre-crisis melt-up inflation will surge across the board groceries, healthcare, insurance, property taxes, and more. The post-crisis melt-up will follow when interest rates are slashed to zero, leading to unprecedented money printing. Eventually, these cycles will culminate in the Great Reboot, where we'll witness a new financial system and potential political shifts. Let's focus on what matters most what you can do right now to safeguard your finances during the Great Melt-Up. Number 1. Own appreciating assets. Prioritize buying a home and investing in the stock market. If possible, diversify into assets like gold, silver, or bitcoin. While asset prices may seem high, waiting for a market crash isn't a viable strategy in today's manipulated financial environment. The system is rigged to favor asset inflation. Number 2. Invest in the stock market. Use retirement accounts, tax-deferred accounts, or brokerage accounts. Start with index funds or ETFs that track the S&P 500. Keep in mind, investing in index funds won't make you rich, but it's a solid defensive move to preserve your wealth. Number 3. Buy a home. If you plan to stay in a location for more than three years, buying is often better than renting. As property values rise, homeowners benefit, while renters bear the burden of increased costs. Number 4. Consider precious metals and Bitcoin. Gold and silver are reliable hedges against inflation. If you prefer convenience, consider gold ETFs, but avoid mining stocks due to their operational risks. Bitcoin can also be a valuable addition, but if crypto isn't your thing, stick with traditional metals. Stay liquid, but avoid excessive cash. While it's essential to have cash for emergencies and short-term needs, holding excessive amounts will erode your purchasing power. Even with current interest rates of 4-5%, inflation outpaces these returns. Navigating Market Volatility during this multi-year great melt-up, markets won't rise in a straight line. Expect pullbacks, corrections, and even crashes. These are buying opportunities don't panic sell. When the government manufactures the next crisis, the market crash will be short-lived. Rates will drop to zero, and money printing will resume, leading to a V-shaped recovery. Prepare for this ultimate buying opportunity but don't over-allocate cash in anticipation, as the timing is uncertain. In our next episode, we'll explore what happens after the great melt-up, when the government implements austerity measures, triggering a potential economic crash. Until then, focus on defending your wealth and securing your family's future. Remember, this is a marathon, not a sprint. Subscribe to Financial Futures for more insights, and let's navigate these turbulent times together.
Take care.